courtside in WAC Vegas, 18 to 12, Utah Valley on top of Chicago State with 11.50 left in the first half. So great to have all of you joining. Sam Brief with you for the Chicago State-Utah Valley first round matchup and CSU's first appearance at a WAC tournament since 2019. The mindset of this Cougar team has been interesting to study this week in that they don't see themselves as a Cinderella. That's a term you hear tossed around all the time in March, but they just think, hey, we are a team looking to win, not a Cinderella. And the Cougars with the ball right now, down six. BG Rumwami has it top of the key, dribbles over the left side, handoff Betson. He stops, passes to BG, who goes around and into the left corner for Harris. Harris lobs it, outside left to BG, back to the hoop. BG muscles in, right-handed hook, misses short, and skips off the rim, goes out of bounds. It'll be Utah Valley ball with a six-point lead. Cougar lineup right now, Betson, Johnson, Bayi Bamandang, Harris, and BG Rumwami. And the Wolverines have it now in those sharp white uniforms that say Wolverines on the front. Name and number on the back, and it's Woodbury, number four with it. Top of the key, drives with the right hand, puts up a layup, and misses strong. High fly and rebound for the Cougars, secured by Johnson, and he gives to Betson, who jogs up the court, calls for a screen, and gets it at the right wing from Bailly. Bailly rolls, doesn't get it. Instead, it's a Betson layup that he just dropped in. Smooth as silk, Brandon Betson with seven points, and the Cougars down 18-14. to 14. Utah Valley ball. Here's McClanahan working on bets, and these are high school teammates from Salesian Prep in the Bay Area. Now Harmon, the Chicago kid, dumps off to Fuller at the right block, who picks up his dribble, lobs back out to McClanahan at the right wing. Working on his high school teammate with eight to shoot. He drives in with the right hand, and he got fouled by said former teammate. Brandon Betson committed his first foul of the night, and Jaden McClanahan will get a baseline inbound with 20 on the shot clock for Utah Valley. Round one of the WAC tournament here at Michelob Ultra Arena. First ever WAC game at the Michelob Ultra Arena. We'll be at the Orleans tomorrow for round two. And a five second violation, meanwhile, on Jaden McClanahan. As I was giving you the history of the Michelob Ultra, it was McClanahan taking too much time and the Cougars force a turnover. 18-14 Utah Valley lead, 10.30 left first half. And here's J.J. Harris, number zero in that Kelly Green uniform. He got a haircut yesterday. So haircut J.J. brings it up the court. Top of the key, whistles it to Betson at the left wing. Leaning in against Harmon, works around a screen. Betson drives with the right hand, dumps it off for Bailly. Right-handed hook, no. His putback is blocked. And a foul call on Tim Fuller. No, check that. It's going to be a jump ball. A tie-up. Fuller got all ball. They call a tie-up. And the possession arrow favors Utah Valley. So Wolverines with it as uh, sub comes in. Amac and Harding for Utah Valley and Corbett for Chicago State. So that's a big sub for Utah Valley. Amac back into the game. He has an early 10 points, three rebounds. Amac, the WAC Defensive Player of the Year, sets up. With the Wolverines on offense now, and outside left, Woodbury a three ball. In and out, rebound, tips out from Amac to McClanahan. Wolverines with a second chance, and a foul call goes against the Cougars. In the low post, BG Rumwami was setting up against Amac, who was ready to body up. And BG got whistled for the foul. So now baseline inbound, and it goes to a wide open Connor Harding, who dumps in a layup. 20 to 14, a defensive breakdown for the Cougars as Harding knifed in, got the pass, put it up and in. So a six point lead for Utah Valley, Cougar ball. Harris has it outside right, knifes into the paint, puts up a layup and misses. And a foul call goes against Woodbury. That'll send Harris to the stripe, shooting foul. Utah Valley up six. And here's J.J. Harris, who's a player who folks this year has really grown. If you checked in with me in mid-January, J.J. Harris was a reserve, battling a tailbone injury, not really playing much, and when he did, it was single-digit minutes. Well, now, now he's played double-digit minutes in the last five. He sunk four threes in two of the Cougars' last four games against GCU and New Mexico State. Harris, a player, just a freshman. Spicy personality out of Tallahassee, getting ready for the free throw, but first, a review happening. Over at the scorer's table, two of the officials are looking at something. 
It was a foul call against Woodbury. Shooting foul on the drive from Harris, who's getting ready for free throws. But first, they are crossing the T's, dotting the I's, doing the thing at the scorer's table. And now, seemingly get a thumbs up as one of the officials chats with Mark Madsen. And J.J. Harris is ready. So we're all ready as Madsen, the Utah Valley coach, takes a seat. Harris gets the ball, readies for the first free throw, puts it up, and it's strong. Harris now six for nine on the season from the charity stripe with his team down six. J.J. Harris, a high school and now college teammate of Deshaun Corbett, in and out on the second, and Amac gets the rebound, his fourth. So the bugaboo for Chicago State, free throw shooting all year long. Ranking 12th out of 13 teams in the WAC in that category. And it bites them early. So up six, Wolverines with it on the right side. And McClanahan has it at the left wing. Cradles it, dribbles it, passes to Woodbury, top of the key, who gets a screen and lobs in the high post to Amac. Just five to shoot. Amac whistles to Woodbury. Right wing three. It misses strong. Rebound chased down by Bailly for the Cougars. And it's Chicago State ball, nine to go, first half. Cougars down 20 to 14. And Betson walks it calmly across the midcourt stripe, working on McClanahan. These two played with each other at Salesian Prep in the Bay Area in California. Betson works off a screen to his right, dribbles and passes into the corner for Corbett at the left. Seven to shoot, Harris has it now outside left on Woodbury. Harris gets a screen, dribbles with a left hand, fade away three. It's strong, rebound, bounces to Woodbury for the Wolverines, and here they come in transition. Pass to Amac, layup in transition, good for the Big Maple. He has 12 points, Utah Valley 22, Chicago State 14, and now huffing and puffing with sweat glistening down his face. J.J. Harris laboring a bit as he brings the ball up the court. And now crosses over, lobs a pass to Corbett, top of the key, who whistles a pass over to the right wing for Betson. Hand off to BG, back to Betson outside right. Betson peers in, gets a screen from Bayi Bamandang, and Betson rolls off of it, fade away at the left baseline, strong. Offensive board, BG, pass out Harris. Three ball, yes, for J.J. Harris. One of the hottest shooters in the whack, Harris, makes it 22-17 to Utah Valley. Under eight to go in the first half. And now Corbett picks up McClanahan at half court. And McClanahan tries to body pass him with the left hand. He lobs to Caesar, who misses an alley-oop. Caesar gets his own board and sinks a fadeaway from the right baseline. Five feet out. It's good for Tim Caesar to make it 24-17 Utah Valley. Chicago State head coach Gerald Gillian, he wanted a foul there on the offensive rebound in his black quarter zip, black sweatpants. He's pleading his case to the official but he doesn't get it as, as his team sets up on offense. BG Rumwami has it at the right wing. Whistles a pass, top at the key to Harris, who calls for a screen. Harris dribbles into the lane, puts up with the right hand, misses, gets his own board. Put back is blocked from behind by Caesar, and that brings us to a stoppage at the 7.04 mark. First half, first round, Whack Vegas, postseason hoops. Then it's Utah Valley 24, Chicago State 17 at the Michelob Ultra Arena. We'll be back with more from WAC Vegas on the other side on the Chicago State Cougars Radio Network. 